Here we go again. It's Sunday and time for another episode of Record Collecting with a Quill. Uh, for this episode, I don't have any special theme actually, but uh, I just got a bunch of new uh, new records this week. So I thought I, I'd talk a little bit about them. Some are, are a couple of years old, some are just brand new. So um, stay with me. Uh, but first, you know what to do. Uh, hit that subscribe button down below and that little notice bell as well so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Well, uh, usually we talk about older records here, uh, being that I'm old. <laughs> uh, but uh, I got a couple of, of newer albums uh, ordered and I actually got one for, for my uh, birthday as well for my brother. So... Uh, and it was that one was uh, a little bit unexpected, so I thought we'd talk a little bit about that one as well. But let's start with with the ones I ordered myself. There were a couple of ones that I've been late buying. Um, the first one being this one. Uh, the new ACDC album came out late last year. Uh, Power up. Uh, what can you say about ACDC that hasn't been said? It came sort of as a surprise, this album. It was really nice in the, um, the whole corona pandemic, uh, all the dull, and uh, during the dull autumn, uh, this one came out and more or less as a surprise. Uh, I got a nice red version, vinyl version. Um, and what can you say about this album? I listened to it. I listened to it on Spotify bef before I bought it. Um, I must say it's it's a really good, is it easy album? I mean, they always deliver. They're like the McDonald's of rock and roll. They always deliver. But there's some really strong ones on this one. It's a little bit front loaded with all the great tracks in the beginning, and, and by the end, I think it fades a little bit. But the strong ones, I, I love uh, the first one, Realize, the first singer, Shana in the Dark. I think the best one for me is Through the Mists of, uh, Through the Mists of Time. Uh, but that was a nice one. Uh, nice to finally have it on, on vinyl as well in the collection. Uh, and be sure to check it out if you haven't. As I said, you can always count on ACDC to save your day. Next one. Is this one the new uh, Blue Oyster Cult album called The Symbol Remains? Uh, also nice double album fold out. Uh, I got the black standard edition. Uh, and this is a really great album as well, I must say. Uh, good mix in the songwriting, as usual, when it comes to Blue Oyster Cult. Um, both Eric Bloom and um, Buck Dharma uh, has their typical kind of songs, but I also enjoy uh, the new guy Richie uh, wrote a bunch of songs, and I think he, those are really really strong. I really like the track "Tainted Blood." It's a sort of a ballad, a little bit cheesy, but hey, I love it. Uh, so if you haven't checked this one out, please do. You won't be disappointed. It's high quality music as always from from Blue Oyster Cult as well. So cool one. Uh, next one are a couple of reissues I got actually. Uh, Rival Sons have reissued, and I think this is the first time it's been on on vinyl actually the the EP. Um, but this is the first album um, before the fire. Uh, I actually managed to get a hold of the limited splatter vinyl uh, copy. So this one's aren't opened yet so I'm debating where, whether or not to do so I have them on CD so I can always listen to them so I think they will remain sealed for a while um, and then we'll see one day I'm, I might just open them and listen to them because hey that's what they're for uh, the cool ones and cool that there's they're available again the first one is it's really expensive if you want to buy it um, I guess it was a small edition when they first released it uh, but a great band. Uh, I think they're working on a new album, so hopefully it will be something just as good as their pre previous ones. Next one is this one. Uh, this one my brother actually gave to me uh, for my birthday. It's the Allman Betts band uh, can, with, a, with a really cool lineup. It's uh, Devin Allman, the son of, of uh, Greg Allman. You have 
Dwayne Betts, son of Dick Betts, and you have Barry Oakley Jr., son of Barry Oakley Sr., I guess, the bass player from, from the Allman Brothers band. Um, and this one was interesting. I've, I've, the name was familiar, but I haven't listened to them. Uh, and, and when I, I, I played it, it was, as, as you can guess, you can hear the Allman uh, Brothers' influences, of course, and they're doing it really well, but you can also... Uh, here in a couple of tracks they have their own kind of sound developing uh, this one is being a couple of years old I think it was released in 2019 um, but there's a, 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 a cool southern feel to it as well I hear a little bit of Black Rose in it here they cover actually Tom Petty uh, the southern accent track uh, and, and they do a great version of it um, really cool package a lot of cool photos it was recorded in the in the famous classic muscle show studio uh, and here you have a cool photo of the band outside the studio and a really nice clear vinyl it was another great band that released a, a great album on clear vinyl just recently one day wonder who they were uh, but this they, they would be really interesting to to continue to, to follow these guys they they recorded and released another album after this I really had to get and um, because it was really a nice surprise so if you haven't checked this these guys out it would be really interesting to follow them in the future and see if they can make their own mark in the history of rock and roll I guess so cool and the next one is this Greta Van Fleet. Uh, the album is called The Battle at the Garden's Gate. And what can you say about this one? Well, first, it's a fantastic album uh, in, in all aspects, I guess. Uh, first, of course, the music. I think they've grown a lot since their previous uh, albums. There's a lot more maturity to this one. Uh, the songwriting is is really really good uh they always written some amazing songs but uh, i think that this you can still hear the the zeppelin influences of course uh, but they're uh, for being so young they they play quite tasty i must say and they also write really really strong material uh, and also have a i mean a whole cool vibe about them the album cover is really sort of embossed, almost like a leather quality to it. You have a really nice fold out. Also, these paint paintings you can't see really, but they're embossed too. The inner cover, really cool. And you also got a really nice booklet with it as well. With all the lyrics and you have a little sign for each lyrics kind of tribute I guess to Led Zeppelin and and there are their symbols and a nice band shop there as well uh, this, as I said there's some really 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 strong tracks on this one I, I would say it's not really any bad tracks at all um, Starts really good with Heat Above. I really enjoyed Broken Bells. Uh, Age of Machine, I think, is a really cool, really long, cool track. Uh, and if you haven't, haven't given these guys a chance, uh, do so, because they're totally worth it. Um, I know the whole Led Zeppelin, and when they started a couple of years ago, they, they sounded like the first Led Zeppelin album, but, but I think they have a lot more to give, and I, uh, another band that would be cool to follow in the future, um, I must say. Uh, so if you haven't already heard this one, check it out. It's well worth it. It's a really cool, uh, cool album. So that's the stuff I got uh, just recently. So, and as I said, some newer stuff as well. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff coming in uh, more in, in the typical style, some old cool records. I got a bunch of cool Kiss records coming in from Japan. I hope they arrive tomorrow. They've been uh, stuck in customs for a week or so. Uh, so hopefully they'll get here. So next week will probably be a uh, sort of an unboxing uh, again. I got some really cool stuff I'm excited about and I can't wait to show it to you. So... Uh, 
that was it for for this week's episode check those albums out i mentioned uh they're all cool and i will as usual put a couple of, of tracks from each album in the spotify playlist you find will find a link down below as usual and also follow us on social media it's the quill sweden uh we're we're hanging in there and we have a lot of cool stuff coming up uh, shortly which we will announce on on our social media so check that one out it's the quill sweden on youtube facebook instagram so that's it for now enjoy your sunday and i'll see you all next week again bye for now